proposed curriculum changes that could alter what and how your child learns about sex. Gwinnett County Schools wants to update lessons plans, but there is some resistance. Atlanta News First reporter Adam Murphy right now live at the Gwinnett County Board of Education northeast of Atlanta in Lawrenceville. And Adam, some of these parents presenting some concerns, right? Certainly so, Alan. I'll tell you, of the roughly 2,000 parents that were surveyed about this, look at this right here, 90% were opposed to implementing any sort of new curriculum on sex education in Gwinnett County classrooms. Based on what I've learned from this curriculum, this is not the best content. This is not something that I want them exposed to. Holly Ture is highly opposed to the idea of Gwinnett County Schools implementing a new sex education program. The district is considering switching to a comprehensive program called HealthSmart. Some parents have raised concerns about the new curriculum and its illustrations and lessons on gender identity and sexuality. I opt my children out of most of this type of curriculum, but I certainly do not want them anywhere near comprehensive sex education. The district has used abstinence-centered choosing the best curriculum for sex education for 22 years. However, a teacher review committee recently submitted recommendations that the district move forward to a more inclusive curriculum to better align with state standards. Choosing the best was not aligned compared to other resources that have been submitted. Um, it was not free of bias or inclusive of our current population of students that we're providing instruction to. The new curriculum has garnered mixed reviews on the Board of Education, which will most likely vote on the issue next month. Remember, our student needs have changed over the past 20 years. We have a very different population that is reflected today. Parents opposed to the new curriculum point to data which shows declines in teen pregnancy in the county during the past 20 years. It's not for all the students, but I want to choose what's best for my student. Now, it's important to point out that parents can opt their children out of any of these sex education courses at any time, so they're not mandated to take them. And you should also know that it appears there will be a vote on this potential new curriculum as soon as next month. We're live at the Gwinnett County Board of Education in Lawrenceville. Adam Murphy, Atlanta News First. Adam, thank